Hey guys, welcome out to the shop. I uh, just wanted to do an update here on the igloo that I posted way back in October, I guess right at Thanksgiving. Um, we've had probably four inches of snow, then a Chinook, then a Chinook, then about six inches of snow, and a Chinook, and another Chinook. And then it was really nice for about a month straight. Um, last night we finally got about three inches of snow, still not enough to do anything with. Uh, the boys will probably go out tomorrow and try and do something on it. They're getting kind of discouraged, but um, hopefully it snows here in April and we can get that thing done. But that's not what I'm talking about tonight. I uh, got a new toy and I wanted to share it with you. So I got myself a portable bandsaw. I've always wanted one of these things and, well, I finally found one. Um, I got it used from a lady in Calgary and actually it wasn't used, it was brand new in the box. Uh, it's a DeWalt, as you can see. It's a deep cut. It uses a 44 and 7 8 blade. Uh, the stock one that it came with, it looks like it's about an 18 TPI. Um, I made a stand for it. Just a quick one out of a 2x4. Uh, a little bit of plywood. A couple little brackets. Just something to mount it vertically so it can actually work well. I also made a little table for it there. Uh, that actually bolts into the screws that hold on... I'm going to try and get this out of my pocket here. The screws that hold on this bad boy. So that's the stock plate that it comes with. Uh, or table, I guess, if you will. Um, no, it mounts on a couple of screws. I'm going to move my safety glasses. I always leave these here so that I know. Remember to put the darn things on. So it mounts on those couple of screws there. Now this table isn't meant to slide, it's meant to just stay stationary. Um, this track right here, there's actually two nuts that those screw into and it would allow this plate here to slide back and forth for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I'm not a big instruction reader so I guess I'll never know. Um, I just took and cut through that plate, marked it out, cut it right with the bandsaw and then I took and drilled some holes here and then got busy with the file and made some space for the blade to to go in there so my rack is really simple it's just a piece of two by four got a couple of chunks of three quarter inch plywood kind of to the shape of the handle and then just a piece of sheet metal to stop it from falling off the bottom just a chunk of tubing that wraps around the handle and that stops this thing from you know it'll wiggle around and whatnot but you're not supposed to use it that rough anyways and if I want to take it off I just uh, slide that out like that and lift it up off of here so pretty nice little unit uh, it's got a light in it as well I don't know if I'll ever use that but I guess if you're doing some precision work, it's nice to have a little bit extra light. And then I built a, um, I built a little trigger lock. Um, you know, I guess a guy could put it into a foot feed or whatever, but when you're using this thing, it, um, all your filings, lots of filings down in there. So, you know, you put a foot feed down in there and it's just going to get full of garbage. So I decided not to do that, and I decided to build this little lock out of some wire, and I can actually clip it onto the trigger. So not ideal, but you know, it works. Um, my plug is really close, so, you know, if I do get a jam-up situation, I can reach over and just jerk that thing out of there. So, I may revamp this and, and put a, you know, kill switch on the wall, but, um, works really good.
some of the work that I've done with this is uh, building a set of tongs out of uh, inch by quarter steel so I was able to cut the reins out on that bandsaw um, to give you an idea this was about 24 inches long kind of sat together like that marked it out and uh, cut it off so it worked fantastic for that I also got busy cutting up a coil spring to make some punches and drifts and whatnot. Um, this is a truck coil spring and it's out of like an 89 Chevy pickup. So I cut all these pieces out of that coil spring. That's what's left of it there, probably about 13 inches. And uh, got 11 pieces I think there is. I don't know if you feel like counting them, go ahead and let me know. But uh, it's a fantastic tool. I recommend if you're going to do any amount of cutting or anything like that, that uh, you get one. Well, that's it for now. Just super happy about that. Hopefully one of these days we get an update on that igloo. That thing's been sitting there for so long. But uh, I'm in the shop trying to get everything cleaned up and organized. And hopefully I'll bring you guys some more stuff. Thanks for watching.